story in here because have you heard about people that are athletes and they suddenly drop dead, marathon runners and athletes and things like that. And you're like, how can that possibly be? People are healthy, et cetera, et cetera. He explains in how, how that happens in here. It's a combination of dehydration and taking drugs that, that build up the scar tissue in the body. And when I'm talking drugs, I'm not talking recreational drugs. I'm talking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Aspirin, Celebrex, Vioxx, Tylenol. These kind of things that we take every day that we think are totally harmless. Put 100,000 people in the hospital every year and kill almost 14,000 people, but you never hear about it. Is it because they're taking it regularly or are they overdosing on it? Most people are taking it regularly. It causes kidney damage, well, internal bleeding, liver told damage. To take aspirin every day. Well, yeah, they're told by their doctors to do it, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I did, because that's such, so important, um, the last two pages is actually a whole slew of information and research on the damage and hazards of taking aspirin on a daily basis. Okay. Yeah, let me tell you, this is really fascinating, I'll tell you the history of aspirin use real quick. They discovered aspirin, thins the blood, and well, they, people won't get heart attacks, at least that's what they thought, right? Mm -hmm. But aspirin is very damaging to the body, so what happened is, is they started giving people, I don't know what the, the dosage was, it was, a, it was a full aspirin a day. And about 100,000 people died that year uh, from j directly from the aspirin. So what they did is they started recommending a, uh, a half an aspirin a day. And, and if you think back about, I don't know, 15 years maybe, this might click with you a little bit, but they cut it back to take half an aspirin a day. So that cut the deaths in half down to 50,000 a year. So then they said, what, take a baby aspirin. Right, take a baby aspirin. And now with taking a baby aspirin, only 10,000 people die every year from taking the aspirin. And that was, that was cool with them, they're good with that, so that's where they stay, at the baby aspirin level. So that's the unfortunate history of, of aspirin um, in America. And people still continue to take it every day. And you'll see when you read that, it actually increases your risk of stroke um, and other problems. They did a study, people who took aspirin on a regular place, basis, it increased um, blood clots. It, it actually causes clotting, clotting the blood. So, I know, it's just, it's shocking, mm -hmm. but... Any questions? Why do doctors keep recommending? Because they, I mean, that, what they're told to do. Yeah. yeah, I mean, unless they study it on their own, they don't know. And some doctors do and some don't. I mean, there's, it's not that doctors are bad, but you know, if, if, if they only go by what they learn in school and they don't look at other research and other information and other studies and talk to other people, I mean, they're kind of trapped in 